Okay, in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to work with FEMA wood in a way that, that keeps it from drying out so fast. And I'm going to show you how I apply it when fixing small repairs in mahogany. Uh, FEMA wood's been around a long time and it's a great product. I don't use it for large repairs. If, uh, if, it's, if the repair is any bigger than say an eighth of an inch or the size of a BB, um, if it's bigger than that, I'll usually try to glue wood into the if it's a deck or a hull side, I'll either um, make a, you know cut out a Dutchman and glue a Dutchman in, or drill, um, let's say a, a, a quarter inch or five sixteenths or three eighths plug, and glue the plug right into the repair. But for small repairs, anything under say an eighth of an inch, Fama Wood's a, a great product because it, it dries quick, it sands real nice, and it takes stain uh, well. Um, and paint and actually on the on the runabouts in the past uh, they would use FEMA wood in all the screw holes on the bottom and uh, I, I chose to to use pl uh, wood bungs in the bottom of this boat but I've worked on some boats that uh, the bottoms were 50 years old on them and uh, when I sanded them down, if I had to take a plank off or something, I would have to gouge into that FEMA wood, um, you know, with a nice pick to get at the fastener. And that FEMA wood was was still good after 50 years of being underwater every summer on that boat. So it's a great. Now I don't know if that was the exact same FEMA wood, but in the books that I read, they called it FEMA wood back then. I don't know if it's the same formula, but it's good stuff. And uh, the one problem with it is it dries out so fast. It's, it's kind of like an acetone base and they sell their own solvent if the FEMA wood starts to get a little tight in the can. Um, I, I went ahead and, and, and mixed this up about an hour ago. I put a little in there to a good consistency because it will start to, it will start to um, dry out and get a little tight. This is pretty good, it's a, maybe a little bit loose but um, it'll be fine for what I'm, I'm gonna use it. And uh, what you do is you just put a little bit of the solvent in there when it starts to get hard and then I just take a screwdriver and, uh, and mix it up. And if you don't have this solvent, acetone will work in a pinch. Uh, acetone is in here, acetone and some, a few other things. But um, I'm gonna show, the problem is it dries out so quick, you know, you, you never really wanna leave this cap off very long. And um, I'm going to show you these two. These two right here. These I filled those about an hour ago. And there's some some uh, some brad holes that I have to fill on this keel. And and your your only other option or your one option is to take the can and uh, you know dig it out here like this, and then take a little art spatula like this and kind of tool it in. But you, you know, you've got the can open. If you've got a lot of repairs to do on the bottom or on the side of a boat, you don't want that can open because it's just drying out on you. And uh, some guys will put it in their hands. They'll have like either latex gloves or sometimes no gloves. They'll put it in their hand. And uh, like if they're doing the screws, uh, screw holes on the bottom of a the boat, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll shove it in the screw hole and, and take a putty knife and kind of tool it in there. But when, with it in your hands, it dries out really fast. And um, so that's what I'm. That's what the video is about today. I'm going to show you how I kind of get around that. I've been doing it for about five or six years, and it's just really simple. I just take a, a sandwich bag and I cut cut the corner. Just cut the corner off of that that sandwich bag and open it up. And I just I put the the famo wood in here. And it's funny because I I started doing this probably five or six years ago. And uh, maybe two years ago, I started noticing at a, a couple of hardware stores, they actually sell FEMA wood, and it kind of looks like a like a, a toothpaste tube, but it's maybe half the length of that with a uh, uh, with a cap on the end, and uh, it's the same thing. They're they're using it in a in a squeezable uh, pouch, basically. So I just I just use it in a sandwich bag. I mix this stuff up. This is a pretty good consistency. I'm not going to put a lot in here because I don't, I don't have a lot to do. But I just put that in there. And 
and then put the cap on and I take just a piece of string and I go around there twice and then just tie it and that's real real simple to make it's protected from the air a little bit now something like this will it'll last probably half a day or so if you're doing um, a lot of uh, small small minor repairs on the side of a boat when you're getting it ready to to stain when you're finished sanding and staining it for instance this boat over here all the plugs are in it uh, when I go to cut all these plugs off and finish sand this when I get down to the stage where I'm finished sanding with like 60 and 80 grit a lot of times when when you put these these plugs in if the plug has a little bit or, or a couple of pin holes around if the if the countersunk hole was a little bit wider than the plug there might be a gap there you, you want to go ahead and fill all that stuff and FEMA wood is perfect for that because if it uh, it, it hides so nice you, you put it in there you can sand it down in an hour or so especially if they're real small uh, little pinholes and stuff around the bungs or anywhere else where there's a little minor imperfection you can put it in there it sands great and it takes stain well and uh, and if you don't do anything with those little pinholes uh, like around the perimeter of a bung or anywhere else and the uh, the varnish will kind of dip there and uh, even after seven, eight, nine coats, if it's big enough, you'll still see those imperfections. So that's where FEMA wood comes in. So this little thing will last maybe, if you set it aside, you know, three, four, five hours. If you leave it overnight and come in the next day, it will start to, you know, tighten up and get hard. So it's not like you could put it in this bag and it'll last a week or anything like that. So I'm going to take uh, and do a couple of the those brad holes up here and show you let me get my sandpaper first I'm going to show you how this stuff sands I've got a block here with 60 grit and I'm just going to sand this it's really easy to sand now the way I put this on is I took it right out of the can and uh, and just kind of tooled it in there but it's, pro it's way more than it needs There's, it's just a little brad hole like this and uh, so by doing it out of the can it's drying out and you're using too much not that it's going to hurt because you can just sand it right off it sands really really nice see that's it right there I'll sand this one and there were a few gouges I put in with my hand plane like right there that's FEMA wood a little bit right in there but it, it's uh, it, when you sand it flush, it it uh, it fills all those little inner imperfections. So if you've got a lot to do, like on the whole side of a boat, it's really worth it to put it in a little bag like this. And then uh, I just go through, just put a little dot right on there. And just tool it in a little bit. It's a lot better than, and my hands are staying clean. It's not drying out on me. Let's see if there's any more up here. And this is a mahogany colored FAMO. You can get it in probably 20 or 30 different colors. And I've seen it used in, in large repairs. Not that I would do that. If you get a, a big gouge like in the bottom or the side of a boat, I've seen it where people would probably just, just pack that in there. And, uh, oh, I thought my memory card ran out. I heard a, heard a beep. People would, would pack this FEMA wood in there and it lasted. So I wouldn't recommend that. I would, in any big repairs like that, I would just glue wood in, make a Dutchman and glue wood or put a plug in, a bung. But it's a real, real simple way to do it. 
just put a little in a bag. And if you're putting less on, it's going to dry faster. So there, that section's done. So that'll do it. That'll do it for, for the quick tip on working with FEMA wood. Okay?